Well, Christopher, with these words in mind, would you now say, or do you, Christopher, have this woman to be your wedded wife, to live together in holy matrimony? Do you promise to love her, to comfort her, to honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I do. Then <laughs> Melissa? <laughs> Do you have this man to be your wedded husband, to live together in holy matrimony? Do you promise to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? And if this is your desire, say, I do. So Christopher, now with these words in mind, would you say these vows to Melissa? I, Christopher, I, Christopher. Take, you, Melissa, take you, Melissa, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, I promise to love you, I promise to love you, and respect you, and respect you, to stand by you, to stand by you, and be faithful to you, to be faithful to you, to be open and honest with you, to be open and honest with you, and to always work toward, and to always work toward our mutual growth, our mutual growth. This promise is made in love. This promise is made in love. Kept in faith. Kept in faith. And lived in hope. And lived in hope. Melissa, would you say these vows to Christopher? I, Melissa, take you, Christopher, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward. I promise to love you and respect you, to stand by you and be faithful to you, to be open and honest with you. And to always work toward our mutual growth. This promise is made in love, kept in faith, and lived in hope. Let me offer a prayer for you both. Father God, I want to say thank you so much for the beauty of this day that you have made. And for the beautiful creation that we're able to see. And I want to say thank you very much for the beauty of this ceremony that's taking place today. Thank you for this couple. Thank you for Christopher and for Melissa. We want to say thank you for the lives that they have had to this moment and the time that they've shared with one another. We want to say thank you that you are going to be with them throughout their journey together as husband and wife. And we ask that you would be with them in all of their duties and responsibilities. Help the love that they have for one another continue to grow throughout the years. We also pray that you would be with the children, Anna and Will, and we ask that you would also help them to be a blessing in their home. And it is in your name that we pray, amen. Well, do we have the rings to exchange? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Wedding rings are symbolic reminders of an unbroken circle of a healthy and abiding love. Within the safety and comfort of true marriage, love freely given has no beginning and no end. And wedding rings are carefully chosen for their beauty and their simplicity. They quietly sit upon our fingers, reminding us of the power of love and the pledge of the wearer to his or her partner to be both faithful and true. And so now, Chris, as you place this ring on Melissa's hand, would you say these words to her? I, Christopher, I, Christopher give you Melissa this ring, give you Melissa this ring. as a symbol of my unconditional love. Of my unconditional love. It represents all the best that I give you. It represents all the best that I give you. And all that I may become. And all that I may become. And Melissa, as you now place the ring on Christopher's hand, would you say these words to him? I, Melissa. I, Melissa. Give you Christopher this ring. Give you Christopher this ring. As a symbol. <laughs> as a symbol. Of my unconditional love. Of my it represents all the best that I give you. And all that I may become. Christopher and Melissa have chosen sand as the symbol of the unity ceremony. Melissa's children, Anna and Will, will also be participating with them. As they stand here before you, each will take their own vessel of stand, sand. These vessels symbolize their lives up to this moment. Each single grain of sand represents people, places, experiences, and emotions that have shaped them into the people that they are today. 
And by pouring the four vessels into one, not only do they represent the lives of Christopher and Melissa, but also a family now that's going to be one, joined wonderfully together, forever blended, and now even more beautiful. Melissa and Christopher, may the grace of this day carry forward with you all the days of your lives. May you find delight in each other. May the love that you have continue to grow and nurture you. And may you always have the wisdom to cherish the precious, precious love that you share. I wish you the strength to be true to the vows that you've made here today. There is a wonderful life ahead of you. Live it fully. Love its changes and its choices and let life amaze you and bring you joy. You've consented today together in marriage and have pledged your love and loyalty to each other by solemn vows and by the giving and receiving of rings, therefore by the authority vested in me in the state of Arizona, and as witnessed together before this gathering of family and friends, I pronounce that you are husband and wife. Christopher, you may kiss your bride. And ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great joy to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. William Christopher Pfeifferich. <laughs>